This tutorial shows the step-by-step -step instructions for this lesson in the Omega Learning Guide. At the end of this lesson, your job should look something like this. To begin, open the file open.plt in the learning folder. Click View Filled Output View to view the colors in the job. You can check final colors in one of two ways. The style boxes are located on the right side of the status bar. When a shape is selected, it displays the vinyl and fill color assigned to the shape. Press F8 to switch to wireframe mode. Select the oval with the selection tool. View the style boxes in the right hand side of the status bar. In this example, no spot or process colors have been assigned to the oval, and it is made up of white vinyl. You can also use the select menu to check for vinyl colors. Click Select Vinyl Color. The Select by Vinyl dialog box will open. Click the black vinyl swatch to select the objects in the job that are made up of black vinyl. Click OK. Notice that the text is selected. Click the white vinyl swatch in the Vinyls and Job palette. This will change the vinyl used in the text to white, giving the job one overall vinyl color, which is ideal for printing. Click the Refresh Job Palette button. The black vinyl disappears because it is no longer used. Select View, Filled, or press F8 to see the color changes in your job. You can also use the Select menu to check for spot or process fill colors. In the Select menu, click Spot Color, Fills. The Select by Spot Color dialog box will open. In this example, only the white foil is used. Click the white swatch and click OK to select any objects in the job that are filled with white foil. Notice that the rectangle border is selected. The outline of the rectangle is also highlighted green. In the wireframe mode, Cut Print Colors, this indicates an object with both cut lines and foil colors. Now, color the job with black, yellow, and green fill colors from the on-screen palette, or use your own choice of colors. A plotter will cut all assigned cut lines. It is important to position the cut lines in the job only where they are needed. For this sign, the only cut shape will be the outermost shape, in this case, the rectangle border. Select the text and oval. Click Arrange, Cuts Off. The wireframe mode shows the outermost shape as green, meaning both print and cut, and the text and oval as red, meaning print only. Click View, Filled, or press the F8 key to view the colors in the job. If a shape does not preview in filled mode, it may be positioned behind a larger shape. If the shape isn't layered in the correct order, it does not print in the correct order either. Click View, Wireframe, or press F8 to turn off Filled Mode. Select the text with the Selection tool. Click Arrange to Front to bring the text all the way to the front of the design. Click View Filled to view the colors in the job. If the centers of your letters or shapes are filled in, such as the O and the P in this example, Combine is turned off. This is because each part of the shape is being colored individually. Click View Wireframe to turn off Filled Mode. Select the text with the Selection tool. Click Arrange, Combine On. Click View, Filled, or press F8. The design should now display correctly. This concludes this lesson. Be sure to check if there are any exercises or tip videos associated with this lesson before continuing. For more information on this and other topics, please consult the Omega Help file or press F1 in Composer.